It's the National Football League on EA Sports, as we see a couple of teams who were both started in Boston. It's the New England Patriots and the Washington Commanders, coming up next. Commanders Field holds a little more than 80,000, and they have come out in droves here in Landover, Maryland. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and for both of these teams that we're going to see, Charles, the future is kind of right now. You know, this is something you only see a handful of times in an NFL season where you've got a rookie quarterback versus a rookie quarterback. And I think a lot of that has to do with the era we're in now because our dads, they didn't see rookie quarterbacks go against each other. In fact, it could be two, three years before they even saw the playing field. Nowadays, you get drafted, they expect you to play earlier, and these guys as competitors, they'll take their lumps early, but they'd rather be on the field. Joey Sly, the kicker, stands ready, and we are underway from Commander's Field. Pushing his way through. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So the Commanders make their way out on offense for the first time here. And it's the rookie, Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick, leading the way. And he was the number two overall pick in the draft because he is special. A dual threat athlete at the quarterback position. Beats you with his arm and his legs. And runs the ball better than any quarterback since maybe Lamar Jackson came out of Louisville. But with that being said, he's got to be smart about how he runs the football. He puts himself in position to take some big shots. He's got to be on the field and available for him and his team to be successful. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. The rookie from LSU leading this offense well. A good throw there leads to a first down play action here on the first play from scrimmage they want to see how the linebackers are going to react are they looking to stop the run or are they going to sit back in coverage a really nice job there of going in attack mode early and they pick up a quick first down that's going to be complete on the sideline but you know that throw left him no room to run and the good footwork nearly all for not they'll give him four yards there and it'll be second down was that a receiver <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. ike has been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he burned a ballet school. Got the toes down and stayed in bounds. And he gets this deep into Patriot territory. Only took him three plays, and they're already in the red zone, just like that. They made that way too easy for them. No one is supposed to be that open against an NFL defense. Once he caught the ball, there wasn't anybody close enough to stop him, and he was able to continue downfield after making the catch. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Daniels looking to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an outer boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Now is second and 10. To throw is Daniels. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. He's got it. Touchdown, Commanders. Zach Ertz from 13 yards out. And the Commanders get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. 
Walking into the stadium, we saw a ton of people donning the jerseys of this rookie quarterback, so you know they love that opening drive, and he throws a touchdown pass. He gave a little bit of confirmation about what they had hoped, right? Because they thought they had a quarterback. They're thinking they have a quarterback. You do this, they believe they've got a quarterback. Look up elbowing each other up in the stands. That's our guy. Extra point attempt to come here. It's good, and Washington will take a 7-0 lead. A drive that time of six plays, and it ends with a Zach Ertz touchdown. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So here come the Patriots to take over for the first time. Led out by the rookie, the third overall pick back in April out of UNC, and that's Drake May. And it's been a long time, but this franchise entered the offseason desperately needing a young quarterback to build around and plan for the future. And they found their guy in Drake May out of North Carolina. Big arm, great mobility, terrific character. He's everything you're looking for in a quarterback. It may bring him along slowly, but I believe in time, he will be their QB1 and be there for a long time. And incomplete. Maybe just a lack of concentration there as he couldn't haul it in. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route, you are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens after that. Second and ten. Throwing here is May. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. And they go play action now, May. And that is incomplete. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. It's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on I it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Throwing now is Daniels. On the catch, it's Crowder. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. Off the play fake, Daniels. And he completes this one to Terry McLaurin. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 
17 yards is the pickup there for number 17. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought... Yeah, he might be locked in for this one. This second and four. Now Daniels. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Here's Daniels. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. To throw, it's May. Hunter Henry brings it in. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They have needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10, down at the 31. From the shotgun, it's May. Caught by Jones. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. From the 23, here's second and a yard. Play action, May. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first-round pick this year, and part of it 
was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. Jones. And all the way down inside the five to the four. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Gibson. We'll get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so. One of my favorite coaches used to say, son, if you could darn near lay down near the end zone and get in, <laughs> give me my best power running play with my best back right now. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots have got it back to within a score. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Joey Sly on for the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. So that drives seven plays in length. And it ends with a New England touchdown. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. The gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Working out of the gun, Daniels. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And McLaurin going to pick up a commander's first down as he'll get this up past the 40. That'll go as a pickup of eight. Nice grab there by McLaurin. That's something we've grown accustomed to seeing. He's racked up at least 77 receptions in each of his last four seasons, and he's someone their young quarterback, Jaden Daniels, will lean on as he goes through his maturation process. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. To the air goes Daniels. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw. Daniels. And he'll be hit as he releases it. 
And that'll fall incomplete. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. And back deep for New England is Marcus Jones. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And the Patriots take over. New England trotting into place on offense. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. I think what we just saw their partner was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. Here's May. And this is going to be dropped. Oh, my gracious. There was no one in his area code that he could not hang on to it. Oh, I don't know if he's sensing contact to come or what, but that's a ball he'd love to have back. That could have gone for big yardage, but it just didn't want to stay in his hands. That's a tough break. And they go play action with May. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. They'll throw with May. Got the connection here to Bourne. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Second down and four. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Short pass caught by Henry. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. A yard all they need, but it's third down. From the gun, it's May. That is caught. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 36. It's an 11-yard pickup. Thought they'd run it on third and one. Not the case. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Douglas. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. And that play came together really well for them as he found open space, makes the catch, and gets down to the one-yard line. You know he's kicking himself right now. He thought he had a chance to get a touchdown and put that in his ledger. Instead, his team gets a chance to cash in over these next few plays. It'll go as a gain of four, and that's going to bring up second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Straight ahead, Gibson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. 
It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in, your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. And the Patriots are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And sometimes when you run a screen pass down in the red zone, it's really tough to create a lot of room to operate. The field's pretty condensed. But that was really well designed there. And they're able to pick up a first down. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. That was a lightning fast incompletion. He got it, he threw it, and it fell to the ground. What's that expression, life comes at you fast? In this case, the defenders came even faster. Incomplete. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line. Second and goal. The tight end, Henry, here in motion. Straight ahead at Stevenson. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball in this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Patriots have taken the lead. I'm pretty sure that that was a passing play, but he took off pretty quickly and ran with it. Love his decisiveness on it because you're exactly right. He was supposed to go back in the pocket and survey the field and throw the football. But when that hole opened, he just said, forget it. Let's go. And boy, did that work out well. Slide for the PAT. And that makes it 14-10. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. And the Washington offense heading out. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Play action, now it's Daniels. Slings this deep from McLaurin. And that's caught inside the 30. Big yardage that time for Washington. 44 yards. Well, they've looked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He has such a handful defensively. Just too hard to keep him under wraps. It delivers a big play here for this offense. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. 
And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. With Charles in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think but, you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense, and now as a defensive coordinator, you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Daniels looking to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. Zach Ertz. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the commanders have regained the lead. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, that's multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Now for the point after. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. A drive there of just four plays. And it ends with a Zach Ertz touchdown. Kick team out there for the Commanders as they send this one away. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. A solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. New England's offense set to go. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Those are the types of runs they told us they want to see more of. Look, they'd love the 60 to 70 yard runs, but those 10 to 20 yarders, they can help you win a ball game. And that means everyone's invested because you know the big guys up front. That's what they do. They try and move people. But when you get your perimeter guys involved downfield, that means that they care about the running game and they know it helps their team. He finds Douglas complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Looking to throw. May. Short pass caught by Henry. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that will bring up second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Throwing here is May. Out route, he finds his man. It's Jones, and he is out of bounds inside the 30. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and now that sets up third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. To the air, May. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. 
Dorrance Armstrong in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both of these offenses having their way so far, so maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely, and that sack finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. That's leaking to the right, and he missed it by a foot or two. It's no good, and instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. And now two problems as I see it. First, you missed the kick, which granted was a long one. But second, you set the other guys up a great field position and enough time to maybe get downfield and get a field goal attempt of their own. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. Fighting Ertz here on the out route. The Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing now is Daniels. Got this complete to Jahan Dotson. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A very solid gain of 27. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Now Daniels, eluding the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Here now, second and four. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And the Pats are going to get the football here at their own 23. Well, I would guess it combined, if you spoke to both defenses, neither side has a lot to celebrate today. They haven't had a lot of stops, but... That one right there, that's a big one because they stole points away with that play and just as importantly, picked up a key stop on an offense that's been really impressive here in the early going. The Pats going to get one final possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. They go play action now. May. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. He had no options downfield there and just chucked it out of bounds. There was no one open. He was in the pocket. What was the intentional grounding call? Oh, you wanted the flag. Of course I did. I'm a defensive guy. You know that. Where was the flag? The officials point out that someone was in the area. He got away with one. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Third and three.
to throw. It's May. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. What a treat to watch the rookie in that first half. The number two overall pick, Jaden Daniels. He fired his guys into the lead with two first-half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well-oiled machine in the first half of play. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. A field goal, the difference. 17-14 is the score. Back underway here now in this third quarter. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Now the Patriots going to take over here to start quarter number three. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Off the play fake. Here's May. Looking downfield for Jones. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. Here's second and ten. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. Twelve yards needed to gain a first down. Out of the gun now on third down. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. But he's turning in a nice performance. Remember, he had the touchdown earlier, and this time he's able to beat double coverage to grab it. I think that if he weren't worried about a taunting penalty, he'd run by the opposing team's bench and say, guys, Two is not going to be enough. You better get some more guys trying to cover me. He knows how to get open downfield. Finding Bourne here over the middle. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Well, hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. On the handoff, Stevenson. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Bringing him down there, Jonathan Allen. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. On the counter, it's Stevenson. And he'll take this one down to the 36. 
He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Well, they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. From the shotgun, May with it. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. From the right hash, this from 53. And that is no good. Oh, he missed it just wide of the upright. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. So another long try for three and another kick that comes up lacking. Yeah, this isn't going to do any wonders for his field goal percentage. But you have to figure as a head coach that when you send a guy out there to try and kick from that distance, it's a 50-50 proposition at best. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Now they'll try and set up the quarterback draw here. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Second and nine from the 44. Up the middle with Eckler. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. A good run as he works his way for nine that time, and it'll leave him with a third and just a few inches. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. This one caught by Crowder. No gain on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. New England trying to get a place on offense. And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send out the field goal unit and then to hide and see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Got to pick themselves up from that one. He'll dump this down to Stevenson. And from the 15, they're able to work this up to the 20 for a pickup of a handful. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back and maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. Here's May. And this is incomplete. Slants are so tough to cover because everything happens so fast. But sometimes it happens too fast for the guy catching the ball because all of his movements have to be quick off the line of scrimmage, and then all of a sudden the ball's right on top of you. And maybe he got a little bit ahead of himself there. Yeah, a lot of times coming in with good pace, and he dropped it. Now back to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. 
A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Dante Fowler in on the stop. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Shotgun handoff to Gibson. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. They'll throw with May. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Out of the gun, they give it to Stevenson. And down to the 44, five yards that time. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Now second and five. From the shotgun, it's May. He finds his man complete. That's Douglas. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 31-yard line. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. The tight end Henry here in motion. And they go play action with May. This one to Bourne, and he's got it. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Now they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. May now off the bootleg. And off balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action, maybe throwing it. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. And they'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead a handoff up the middle. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here. Brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick. Throw. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. So a big sack for a loss of four. It brings up fourth and goal. Well, we saw him score on the ground earlier in the ball game. This time, the defense says not so fast. Yeah, that's good scouting and good awareness, isn't it? Because you always have to be wary of him keeping it himself, especially in this part of the field. Because if he doesn't like what he sees, you know he'll take off and try and go for it himself. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. 
Sly able to put this one through. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for them. You're exactly right about that. And this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision-making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as it kicks away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. Out there set and ready for this next drive the Washington offense over on the sideline hoping to hit that reset button between possessions last time out they had to punt it away this time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone and that is incomplete oh, the coverage a little too good there and it's second down and that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contacts coming let alone getting two hands around it hugging it to your body and absorbing the hit even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Eckler now between the tackles. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Five yards, now it's third and five. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Daniels from the gun on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Commander's Field. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Running on first down, Eckler. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out-leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Second and five. Once more, here's Eckler. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Give them a loss of six yards, and it brings up third down. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Here's Daniels. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play. And they did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it. And he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin them back. The Patriots offense now. They work their way back onto the field. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity. All tied in the fourth quarter. The drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. 
And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 48 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they had three tight ends in on that set. And these guys are punching really well. I use boxing analogies a lot. A lot of coaches have told me that when you line up to run the football, it's 10 fist fights along the line of scrimmage, right? You've got to win your share. These three tight ends, they almost always win their fist fights. Looking to throw, May. And that's complete to K.J. Osborne. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. And 22 more yards there and another first down. From the gun, it's May. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now for getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Throwing here is May. What a spin. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. A field goal from this spot would be 51 yards. They'll try to move it closer on third down. To the air, May. And this is going to be incomplete. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder, you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. Sly able to put this one through, and with that, they take the lead here 20-17. to 17. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Washington offense set to take over again. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. This will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. On the give, this is Eckler. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. This offense so far on third down, they've converted just two for six thus far. Here it's third and two. That is caught. 
And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. They will look for some important yardage on third down. From here, it would be a 60-yard boot. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. A three-yard gain and enough for the first down. Brandon, this can be so demoralizing for a defense. They've had two opportunities to get off the field. They haven't gotten it done. So now your coordinator, he's going to call every blitz that he has, any type of exotic, something that they haven't seen before. And he's also telling the defensive lineman, don't worry about holding people up. Just get in gaps and try and make a big play. And not only not getting off the field on two opportunities, clock continuing to run. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. Working out of the gun, Daniels. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, they'll do a much better job going forward, spying on him on passing downs. That's to the pylon and incomplete. We have going to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Here now, second and goal. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make a play. That one was ripe for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game, but it winds up incomplete. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Now Daniels. Dotson has it. Touchdown, Commanders. Eight yards on the touchdown pass, and the Commanders have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. A pretty long drive that time, 11 plays all told. And it was Jahan Dotson with a touchdown catch to finish things off.
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So the Patriots now down by four, a minute 55 remaining. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and ten. Back to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Douglas. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's back to throw. He's got Henry. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. I like what they did there. Still keeping their tight ends involved. They understand it's not quite Hail Mary time just yet. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and 10 here. That's Bourne, got it on the slant. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Nice, well coached, a team that understands what's going on. They still have time to work the middle of the field as they just did there. They'll come up first and 10 here. Back to throw. And Jones has it over the middle. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Here's first down. They'll look to throw. Completes it to Douglas. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. And now all of a sudden, the shoe's kind of on the other foot. Maybe you pull the reins back here a bit? Yeah, a little bit because you got to make sure that you don't score too quickly. Now first and goal. He'll look to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And, partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this win away. Extra point by Sly is up and good. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Oh. 
And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And now it's Washington's turn. Trailing by a field goal. 27 seconds to go. They've surrendered a double-digit lead but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. Throwing now is Daniels. Able to find Ertz. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Here's second down and three. To the air goes Daniels. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Daniels looking to throw. Pass caught by Crowder. And they will get the conversion on third down, but the clock, a more pressing factor. Well, this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and ten. To throw is Daniels. That's complete to his receiver, McCoy. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to potentially send us to overtime. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to tie things up in the final minute. And this one is no good. He missed it. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. Uh, we so often think of these kickers as automatic at any distance, and it's just not the case because when you start talking about 50-plus yards, it's still a tough one to connect on. This one ends up no good, and that should put to rest any chance of this game getting to overtime. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score. They get the victory. And that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. From Washington, thanks for watching, and good night, everybody.